I think Congress should initiate hearings regarding the 25th Amendment and start bringing in witnesses, doctors, and people around Biden and explore what's going on. Oh, speaking of the Biden border invasion, I, I, I don't want to talk about the border invasion because I, I, uh, I've highlighted how we're funding it. But Biden and Trump went down to uh, the border this week. And, and I don't want to talk about it in a sense because I think there's another important issue is Biden's inability evidently to serve because of his cognitive and phys physical challenges. And I saw this video of him walking around at the border the other day and I mean, I, I posted this kind of reaction video on social media. So there he is at the border with some border patrol agents. And I, he barely can walk, it looks like. I mean, Governor Abbott is in a wheelchair and gets around more easily than Biden did. And this is what I would do in reaction to something like that if I were in Congress. I think Congress should initiate hearings regarding the 25th Amendment and start bringing in witnesses, doctors, and people around Biden and explore what's going on, explain to the American people what the 20th, 25th Amendment is designed to do, which is to remove a president when there is a significant disability like this. The vice president and his cabinet can move the act and remove him. And uh, if the president doesn't dispute it, uh, he's removed. If he does dispute it, it requires, I think, a two-thirds vote in Congress in order for the removal to be effected under the 25th Amendment. But these are the sorts of debates we should be having. I mean, I don't want to joke about his cognitive difficulties. I, I think it's disturbing. Now, others will joke, but I don't want to joke in the sense that we've got uh, bad guys watching very carefully what we're doing, and they look to the president for signs of weakness, and if they see that weakness, they'll take advantage of it. Even our friends will take advantage of it. So these have significant national security implications. So there we have, the, there, there, there's the uh, story there that we got to take his cognitive challenges seriously. And I know some people say, well, you know, we'll have Kamala Harris. Well, that's, that's life. All I know is that there's a, you know, what the current situation is untenable. It really is. <sighs> and then it'll be a different challenge if there's a different president or vice president. Now I'm saying, does he have to be removed on the 25th Amendment? I think there needs to be a serious debate about it. And Congress can lead the way in it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.